The update which I have been talking about for a long time has finally arrived. The remodels of the 737 and A380 have been released and they are now in game. Starting off quickly with this unexpected addition. The Carboni Slipper has been added and it was originally meant to replace Derek's creation but it was decided that it will be a secret plane instead which you will have to find. Similarly to the UFO or Derek's creation. I will give you guys a spoiler alert because I am nice. I will reveal the location in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here is the location of the Carboni Stipper. It is in a cave near the bridge at the Renji and it looks interesting. It has a top speed of 150 knots and it has a pretty weird design. Next up, the Boeing 737. It has been upgraded from a 400 variant to an 800 variant which is fantastic. You can tell this by the longer fuselage and a completely different cockpit. If you're wondering why they were so different, it was because the 400 is a 737 classic which released in 1985 and the 800 was released in 1994 as a replacement for the 400. It is also known as the 737 New Generation. It comes with 32 liveries including 28 passenger liveries, 2 cargo liveries, the Poseidon P8 livery and the US Air Force livery. These include Air Lingus, Air Baltic, Air Canada, Air France, Air New Zealand, American Airlines, British Airways, Condor, Delta, EastJet, Flybe, Iberia, Jet2, KLM, Korean, Lot Polish Airlines, Lufthansa, Pan Am, Qantas, Qatar, Ryanair, Singapore, Southwest, Thai, TUI, Turkish Airlines and finally United. For the cargo variant there is the DHL and the FedEx livery. And last but not least the Poseidon military livery and the United States Air Force livery. One cool feature about the P8 Poseidon, United States Air Force livery and the Ryanair livery is that they come with retractable air stairs just like the real thing. Here is what it looks like on the Ryanair in real life and in game. Let's now get into more detail with each plane. The PA Poseidon has lots of cool things which make it really unique. Starting off it has bulges in the engine cowlings, it has giant observation windows on the side and has space for underwing missiles. Underwing missiles on a Boeing 737, that is crazy. As many of you may have noticed, it has wings like a 787. This is because Boeing was told to design a raked wingtip for the PA Poseidon because mission requirements made it necessary since it operated in harsh environments such as low over water or at high altitudes for long periods of time. Inside it has tons of technology and things such as 6 of these computers multiple tanks at the back, and 14 seats. This means 22 people can fit in this plane, including the pilots. This plane also has aerial refueling, but it only works with the boom arm. Next up, the Presidential 737. You can get this with a Presidential Aircraft Game Pass along with the 747 and Shikorsky S92. This Game Pass is slowly becoming better value for money, as originally it was just a 747 for 195 Robux, but now you get two planes and a helicopter. Very cool. It has 36 seats and a couple of tables, which I would say is what you would expect in a Presidential 737. It has multiple antennas and this bulge which I believe has more antennas or something like that. Hopefully people will be using this as well instead of only the 747. The passenger 737 has 60 seats and looks like this. And the cargo 737 looks like this and all this space is for pallets. There is also this little forward section near the cockpit. I actually thought that the cargo area and cockpit would be connected but it seems they are two separate parts. Now the moment we have all been waiting for. New markers on the map. They are now green arrows for you and red arrows for other people instead of the small red dots. No, but let's be serious now. The moment we have all been waiting for. The A380. It comes with the same 9 liveries which include Air France, British Airways, Emirates, Korean Airlines, Lufthansa, Qantas, Qatar, Singapore Airlines and Thai. Most of them have the usual cabin which you would expect, but Emirates, Korean Air and Qatar all have lounges on board. The lounge on Emirates looks like this and it consists of a bar and a few seats. The lounge on Korean Airlines looked like this and similarly to the Emirates, it has a bar and a nice large sofa. But on the Qatar, I was shocked. You have this massive cabin with a bar, multiple sofas and even a TV. I think I like this one the best. Tell me in the comments down below which lounge you like the most. Also, you may have noticed, most liveries look the same but the Emirates livery has changed from the old livery to the new livery with a bigger logo and a larger tail design. This update has honestly brought so many new and interesting things to the game. I would have never expected that we'd be getting dedicated lounges. I genuinely thought that would be too much work for the developers and they wouldn't be bothered. Looks like I was wrong. And with that, I would like to thank you very much for watching. See you soon.